Ladies and gents, my name of course is Obi Potato. Hello and welcome. This is Project Hospital. Indeed it is! Welcome, welcome one and all. We're getting back to solving people's conditions. Um, and we're halfway through the day, we're halfway through day two. At the, uh, at the Orbital Potato Hospital. For everyone, actually. It's the, the hospital for everyone. Just, uh, just not any, anyone in specific. Um, great! Objective completed. Treat one patient uh, per day at the general surgery department. Reward hospital hospitalization at the general surgery department. Cool. And uh, another one. Build and hire staff for one surgery lab. A 20,000 government grant. Nice. So we are... I mean, we got a lot of money. It's not a, a super amount of money, but it is, um, it is what it is. So we've got hospitalization here. Um... Fine. That's something that we could definitely look at doing. I do want to get a different floor, though. Um, so we can only hospitalize in the uh, general surgery department as it currently stands. Uh, we, of course, can get an intensive care unit, um, but that's only hospitalization. I don't believe that that is just a, a clinic, an inpatient clinic. Uh, same with internal medicine. We can do we could do both of those. Um, same with ortho... Ortho, orth, yeah, that one. Uh, same with cardiology, and same with neurology. Okay, interesting. Fine, I'll take that. That's um, that's okay. All things considered, that's pretty good actually. Before we do progress towards hospitalization, which I know is hospitalization, I need to enunciate. People always say to me, "Orbital, you need to enunciate your T's," and I say, "Okay." Um. Anyway, yes, speaking of enunciation and speaking of all of that nonsense, um, we're making a profit so far, but of course it won't, um, we won't find out until the end of the day, which is very, very nice indeed. Our objectives are, I need hospitalization at emergency, and 2,000 daily profit, that's pretty difficult. Treat five patients per day at, at the general surgery department. Yeah, I mean, what worries me is that we have a serious number of patients, uh, just chilling around, and this is the, what do you call it, clinic, the, the regular old, uh, emergency clinic that we've got going on, um, it doesn't, it doesn't show, but, I guess it kind of shows, because you can toggle through and see the different waiting rooms for the different clinics, uh, but anyway, the problem is, is that our general waiting room really isn't, um, it's not, well, first of all, it's not big enough, and also, we don't have enough doctors, which is slightly problematic. Um, means that we might need to, to deal with something, or m means that we might need to do something to deal with this situation, so to speak. Of course, I don't really want to jump too far ahead and, uh, and get into this predicament where we end up having way too many doctor's rooms, so to speak. Um, so a part of me just wants to just, you know, just, uh, just up the speed and see how things go. Procedures are finished. All right, let's see what let's see what you've got, my friend. What have you got? There is a, a whole bunch of nonsense that you could possibly have, and it seems that our test did absolutely nothing to uh, solve it. Okay, I mean, there is almost nothing else that we can really do to to examine you. I mean, that's treated by b -b 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 diet modification. It's treated by IV antibiotics, IV antibiotics, IV antibiotics. So everything except celiac disease. I mean, how do we even test? Can we even test? You're just playing solitaire. Excuse me. I'm gonna fire, fire him. Um, Susan, you're getting fired. Um, yeah, what else can we do? I don't really know. Like, there's nothing There's nothing else that we can really do. Anti-diarrheals, no. Rest, no. I don't want to diagnose him wrong, but at the same time, I also don't actually think that we can do anything else. Um, these are all treated with internal medicine, with internal medicine um, drugs. If we go and have a little look at... Um, yeah, if we go and have a little look at um, 
uh, what we need. Internal, a med lab. We could build a med lab. I guess some of these, some of these um, tests are undertaken in an internal cardiology unit. Cardiology unit. Uh, can't do that here. Stat lab. CT scan. CT room. I feel that we don't need a CT scan in order to tell if this guy's got any of these diseases. Problem is that we can't diagnose any of it. Literally nothing that we can do. Um, okay, well, I suspect that you're going to be shipped off to another hospital pretty soon. I'm sorry, but you're not my problem anymore. Procedures have finished, and therefore you can go away. I'm not interested in you anymore. Come on, be gone with you. I, I don't want to... Maybe I'll just give him a whole bunch of stuff, really. But we can't really tell him to do anything. So we're going to... We're going to try and get rid of his diarrhea and hope he doesn't die. There we go. Good luck there, friend. Good luck. I mean, maybe we should just... Yeah... Let's just send him to another hospital. We just can't do anything about it. Fine. Okay, but anyway, we're we're on to 4 o'clock, and we still have a, well, a huge number of patients uh, still in the, in the waiting room. And I don't think that that is going to decrease at all, actually. Which makes me, um, which makes me slightly worried. Our general surgery department is coping just fine. However, our regular old uh, emergency department is not coping whatsoever. Yeah, I think we need to build way more, in fact. Yeah, I hope we don't get penalized. I hope we don't get penalized for not seeing patients. That would be a kind of a big problem if we did. Um, Hospitalization is not functional. Everything is okay. That's because radiology doesn't have a hospitalization unit. Okay. Before before the end of today. In fact, no. Let's just... Let's wait until the end of today. We'll see how many patients uh, we'll be able to see in the... In the... Uh, just the regular old emergency clinic. We'll see what it's like. And then we'll take stock on things. Clinic opening hours have ended. Uh, treat 20 patients per day, a 20,000, uh, insurance grant. Great. I was pretty confident that I would be able to, um, to beat that. So that's kind of nice. You're going to send 10 patients. You're going to send 10 patients. You're going to send 10 patients. Great. Um, I don't think we're going to get penalized. But as I say, it very well might happen. Okay, so, moving forwards... What do we want to do? Well, first of all, we want to skip... We want to skip the night. As soon as everyone is done at the end of the day shift, I imagine that we're going to be able to do that. And then tomorrow it's going to be a brand new day. We've got 82,000 bucks in the bank. I also am very curious to see how much we actually made at the end of today. There we go. Let's skip night. Perfect. Yep. Come on. Quick, quick. This isn't really skipping. I still have to watch this. Oh, nah, that's kind of skipping. There we go. Whoa, 2,000 daily profit at the um, at the emergency clinic. That's pretty much what we were aiming for. So, why are our patient numbers down? Why are... Oh, are these evening patients, I imagine? I don't particularly know. Anyway, um, moving on. What was the award that we got? We got something. I can't even remember. I think it was... Was it more money? Did we get more money? Or did we get more patience? I cannot tell. I cannot... I can't... I literally cannot remember. I literally cannot remember what just happened. Um, great. Good stuff. Let's skip right until morning and then we can... Then we can talk about it. Um, then we can talk about it then. Yeah, so I'm pretty certain that we might get lumped with fewer people because we didn't actually manage to uh, to successfully see everyone. So let's talk about what we're going to do to address that because that's not exactly something that I'm super proud of, nor is it something that I really want to happen again, honestly. 
Um, it was a problem that we sort of talked about, and as you can tell, not super happy about it. It is what it is, but hey-ho. Okay, anyway, we're going to pretty much expand the hospital out this way. It's going to cost us about 15 grand to do. Pretty happy, honestly, with that price. I'll, I'll take that. Let's, excuse me. That's what I meant to click. Uh, get rid of those walls there. In fact, I'll just get rid of these, all of these walls right now, and then I'll, um, and then I'll replace them. Let's have a look at our prefab. This is the doctor's office prefab. Excuse me. There we go. That's what I meant. Um, yep, pretty happy with that. I think about that many more doctor's offices. In fact, you know what? Let's even, let's bump that up further. There is nothing, nothing but the best. We offer literally the best service that anyone could ever want. Anyone says anyone who says otherwise is um, going to get sued, quite frankly. And if there's something that hospitals know how to do, it's to bring lawsuits. So I would think twice before slagging off uh, potato healthcare. That's for sure. Anyway, there's no patients in. The day shift begins at 7. Where is everyone? You're late. You're fired, James. Fraser, you're fired too. People coming in through the back of the building will be reprimanded. And reprimanded seriously. So seriously, in fact, that now they can't get in there. What are you guys going to do? What are you going to do, huh? Oh, what? Oh, you're gonna have to walk all the way around. Well, you wouldn't have to walk all the way around if you just use the normal door like normal people. Do you see that? It's not that difficult. And you go onto your computer and you play solitaire. I bet you're terrible at solitaire. Yeah, that's right. I said it. Uh, okay, patients per day, six. I'm presuming that this is just, this has got to be like a negative number. Um... Yeah, untreated. S yeah, so 64% are treated. It's not bad. Uh, I'll take that. It's pretty good. What was our profit? Can we have a look at our, um, at our profit yesterday? So. Our total profit was 2,000 bucks. 5,000 from the, um, from the, from the clinic. Uh, not from the clinic, sorry. 4,500 from the clinic. Uh, 810 from the, uh, the general surgery and of course staff wages for uh, for the radiology unit but it doesn't seem like radiology really has any uh, what do you call it money making capability I, I think it's probably just one of you know one of the tests that you you sort of allocate anyway I was sort of talking about wanting to develop um, well we can't develop an intensive care unit because we will need to include hospitalization and I don't want to include hospitalization I want to include hospitalization but I want to go big with hospitalization I want to get I want to get developed and just you know sort of day clinic set up first before we uh, before we develop that further uh, and also I want you know once we develop once we develop this hospital we've got a lot of space to use here uh, you know you've also got to bear in mind is that we've got floors we've got different floors that I want to use and I want to make sure that we're, we've got different departments on different floors. What is it with these people? Just use the front door, people. Honestly. Maybe I should just put a door over here so that they can all get in. Like, that would... Oh, no. What's wrong? Iron deficiency. You've got two hidden symptoms. Okay, what do we need? Offices at general surgery department. Or differential diagnosis. Why can't we just do a blood draw? I mean, we haven't we hadn't finished with him anyway. He's been diagnosed incorrectly, but it was an iron deficiency. Like, why was he diagnosed? Why was he diagnosed incorrectly? Excuse me. This seems like a. Are we going to be paying him two hundred bucks, even though we save him? Pretty sure that's total nonsense. Um. Oh. Speaking of total nonsense, it's a uh, it's a good idea, you know. If you build all of these expensive offices, it's um, well, let me just say that it's a it's a darn good idea to 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 hire people to you know, work in them really. Um. Great. So. 
Who's cheapest, really? Wow, you have 0% of, of everything. You're not the sort of uh, quality person that I'm that I'm looking to hire, buddy. Um, find new candidates. I know it's going to cost me a lot of money. There we go, 3,000 bucks. Give me someone that's... Yeah, okay, these people are a little bit more middling. I'll take that. Uh, because wages represent a huge portion of our uh, expenses for this so i would rather not i would rather not be caught out okay and there and i spotted someone who was super cheap two people that are super cheap actually who's cheaper you're cheaper and you're be not better you're better uh, okay fine good we'll get to work everyone you all sit down and you all start either browsing youtube playing solitaire or just doing something that's probably unhelpful. Because that's just what you're like. Um, anyway, cool. Things are fine. Hopefully we can we can uh, help ourselves out, have a significant a significant amount more uh, more throughput. Uh, patient intake from the insurance table. What on earth is this? That that is a horrendous screen. That yeah, that's just that's just awful. We've got an employee limit? Why is there a limit on the number of employees that we can have? That just seems like the most arbitrary thing to have a limit on in the world. Um, anyway, I think everything seems to be going pretty darn well. Obviously, our expenses are going to be through the roof. However, it does mean that... Um, it does mean that hopefully our insurance uh, intake should increase. Uh, we cannot even, unfortunately, make the uh, the 30 patients per day. It's a real bummer. Treating 25 patients at emergency? Can't really do that either. Treat 5 patients per day at the general surgery department? That might be a possibility. I doubt that we're going to be able to do it today of all days. Um, probably just because we've not had that many patients today. But probably tomorrow we're on set to hit all of our insurance objectives, actually. Yeah, I'm loath to spend any more money because I feel that today we might actually make a loss, what with the reduced number of, uh, of people, um, and also the fact that we've got, we're paying for five doctors who are doing very little at the moment, except playing solitaire. I swear, you are probably an absolute solitaire pro. Maybe you could make a little bit, a uh, little bit of extra cash on the side by going pro on the uh, global, you know, uh, solitaire scene. That would certainly be my suggestion, is that, you know, this could be called Project Hospital and uh, and Pro Solitaire Simulator. A complicated diagnosis. Diagnosing a patient proved to be difficult for the doctor's diagnostic skill. You can help by selecting the next examination. No, 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 no. It is okay. It is okay. Potato. Potato is here to... Potato is here to help you out. Um... Well, let me look at this. Let me look at this. So, a peptic ulcer disease. Well, I must say that that uh, probably doesn't have anything to do with me. Uh, both of these things supposedly can be solved. I don't think I can solve either of them, honestly. I don't think either is going to be solved with uh, with an oral inspection, I must say. Um, let's draw some blood. I think that that's probably the best, the best course of action here. Yes, absolutely. Triple therapy treatment. Or proton pump inhibitors. I somehow suspect that uh, my hospital will be able able to uh, to offer neither of these treatments, and as such, we're going to have to ship them somewhere else. Uh, which is a shame, because yeah, it's just a shame because I want the money more than anything. Look at these. Look at that. I mean, well, not that one, but that one's two thousand one hundred. Proton pump inhibitors is what we what we do to treat that. So. Yeah, I would very much love to make the money off your um, off your pain and sadness, but unfortunately, I can't. It it kind of sucks, I must say. We'll do an oral inspection as well, I guess. We'll send you back in. Uh, I believe we're still waiting for the results of the blood draw. Yep, currently working on that. I guess we'll do an oral inspection purely because it's something to do. Um, procedures are finished. Yep, let's have a look. We're still waiting on the blood draw. We're still waiting on the blood draw. Come on. 
I thought, yep. Uh, was it here? Schedule procedures are finished. Yeah. No, I'm pretty sure we were still waiting on them. Um, I'm pretty sure we were still waiting on, on these tests to come back over here. I, I guess I don't know. Sorry, buddy. You've been you've been sitting around for a long time. Maybe I was just completely wrong then. Is there? Oh, I guess I guess not. Okay, I guess the blood result has come back um, inconclusive. We need to send you to another hospital, I'm afraid. Um, I don't actually have the skills to diagnose you. Sorry about your long protruded weight. My bad. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if we can make a profit today. We dealt with a whole bunch of patients. We had one untreated patient because we couldn't treat him. Uh, we're working on making sure that that's not the case, though. However, what I care about right now is money. And uh, money is the most important thing. I don't think we're going to hit any objectives today. But hopefully, tomorrow we'll see an, an, uh, an uptake. Clinic opening hours have ended. That's great. So let's have a little look at how many people we were sent today. We were sent 24 today. 24 people today. Why have we treated 25? Hmm. Suspicious. Who is sneaking in here and not paying their bills? We need to find that out. Uh, okay, so... At the end of the day, we need to just make sure that our patients come back tomorrow. Pretty sure they will. Pretty hopeful anyway, because if they don't, then we might be in some, some trouble. Okay, let's skip on. With haste. Okay. Employee got drunk last night. Won't feel too good today. Frankie, Frankie, Frankie. Uh, not what I needed. Not what I needed, buddy. Anyway. Uh, yes, 40 patients today. I think we're back up to uh, we're back up to full capacity, which means that these doctors are actually going to be uh, probably pretty useful, actually. Um, great. Okay, so after uh, today, we should have a, a little bit more of a, a handle, really, on, on what's going on. Also, I think we lost about two grand yesterday. I don't want to... Uh, it's roughly that. No, we actually made money yesterday. Huh. Very, very interesting. Okay, we made, you know, just shy of, um, just shy of $2,000. I mean, I say we just, we made. Obviously, when I'm talking about we made, I just talk, I'm just talking about the, you know, the, the, the incomings and the outgoings of the hospital. I'm not talking about the, the, you know, the 35,000 bucks that we spent on new buildings. Uh, you know, so, there. Just to, just to make you aware of that. Okay, cool. Also, hold on a second. Uh, why is that minus 2,500? Is that, um, is that like a negative because we didn't treat a certain number of patients? Or it might just be a specific patient, uh, patient cost. Um, anyway, we seriously need to think about opening, uh, an internal medicine department. I would certainly like to do that. In fact, let's do that. Let's do that today. I feel like... I feel like that's a good opportunity. You know, we got a we got a good opportunity here. Uh, we're gonna make it the third layer back because why not? Um, okay, five by five office. We're gonna need to get some more space. Oh my goodness, so annoying. Why on earth? Let's just get like enough space for three offices or something. Ten grand. Big money, I know. Um, let's take that wall out. Let's put in another wall here. Boom, boom, boom. And then let's build accordingly. I don't want to build. I want to... I want to do this. And I want to do my standard... my standard old medicine office. 5x5, five because five, 6x6 six six is, uh, you know, it makes doctors feel like they've got space, and that's not a, that's not something that I feel comfortable with. Uh, we're going to need a med lab. Oh, I want the med lab to go right there. Okay, that's, I, I'm going to, I'm 
going to break my original pledge, and I'm actually going to extend extend that area up. Fine. Move you and you. I'm going to leave this. I'm going to leave this this area open because I trust that my employees and my patients will. I think this is a different med lab, by the way. I hope this is a different med lab. Yeah. Um, I'm going to trust that my patients and my employees will come in through the front door rather than through the back door. So it's very, very important that um, that they do that. Okay. Uh, walls. Perfect. 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 Let's get some doors. Just your old white door. Thank you very much. And now we can... Look at sticking all the stuff in that we need to stick in. Tell you what, I wish I could. I wish I could just take the mold, but I know for a fact that I cannot. Yeah, the prefab is not. The prefab is not allowed at the active department. That's so annoying because it's it's pretty much the same stuff. In fact, I'm actually certain that it's the exact same stuff. No matter, we will you know, we will deal with it obviously because we have to. Um. I'm going to try and set up pretty much the um, the same situation that we've got now because I actually kind of like the layout that that, um, that we've got going on here. Paper holder, sure. PC. Um, let's get a lab sink right there. Let's get a spiral, a spirometer. Let's get an eye test thing above the thingy. Let's get a, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it, equipment table, right there, and another one, right about there, is that the wrong way around? Nope, that was the right way around, I should have trusted my instincts, right there, right there, biohazard bin right there. And, well, I want a yellow one. Yellow one, please. There we go. R can I... I thought I could just... Okay. Okay, fine. I got rid of it somehow. I, I don't understand how that mechanic works. It doesn't particularly matter. Um, anyway, let's also get a, uh, a wall stick it in the back there and let's go and prefab boom yeah i love this tool this tool is just the greatest uh and now we need to quickly set up a similar situation over here this was a massive pain to do last time i recall um yeah just a real irritation and now that the door is in a different location, well, that might just be even more of a problem. Uh, yeah, so we will have to move things around somewhat. Okay, stool analyzer, thermal cycler, RIA, lab analyzer. Uh, printer, PC, share. Lab sink. Medical centrifuge. Right in the middle of the room, because of course that's the most appropriate place for it. Lab shelf. Right there. Biohazard bin. Uh, right there. Glassware. Hemat where's the hemat- oh my goodness, where's the hematology gonna go? Where is it going to go? I, d I don't know. It's got to go somewhere. Where's it Where's it going to go? Can't go there. Oh no. This is an unmitigated disaster. Okay, well this is a this is a slight problem. Okay, hold on a minute. I'm trying to get the glassware. Yeah. 
can we put that in there? No, that even that doesn't work. Um. Mm, we're gonna need to expand this room a little bit. How did I manage to make it all fit in there? Did we have something else? We've got this machine, which is a little, which is an extra. Do we really need a printer everywhere we go? Is a printer really compulsory? I don't think it is. Can we... It's compulsory. That is so annoying. Oh, there's a price difference for the paper holder and, and the printer thing. Oh man, that's, that's an annoyance. Okay, I mean, maybe we expand this by one. I don't want to though, I really don't want to. I really like the sort of compact, the compact feel. Um, ah, bother, 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 bother. Hmm. I feel that there must be some way to optimize this situation. All we need, all we need simply is a uh, square table or whatever it's called, a uh, lab equipment, a lab table. There's not a single square. Oh, hold on a minute. I have found the answer. This is what we're gonna do. That's gonna go there. First of all, we're gonna remove the door. Nope. Nope. Yeah, remove that door. Remove that door. Get rid of that. Okay, then come back in here. Equipment table. Uh, yep, right there. Microscope on that table. The door can go here. And that will work. That will work, right? Tell me categorically that will work. Missing staff. Beautiful. It worked, and it worked perfectly. And as a consequence, let's hire someone who is pretty inept. And, uh, I mean, uh, let's hire the best person for the job. Um, you're actually pretty cheap. You're, you're all pretty cheap, actually. I'll get, I'll get you. Judy, you're my, you're my top pick. Okay, and speaking of hiring staff, let's hire some more staff for the, um, internal medicine, uh, area. Who is the best person for the job? I mean, the cheapest. I mean, the best person for the job. Um, definitely you. Definitely you as well. And probably I spotted someone cheap down here. Beautiful. Great. We've got three, three cheapos all sitting down at their desks. All browsing YouTube. Absolutely fantastic. Um, speaking of, before we finish up this episode here, I think it's probably about time... We get a waiting room, we can zone it. We'll zone it to be that big. There we go. Insurance company can be contracted. Liver TY can be contracted. Great. Do we actually need to get anything for the waiting room? I guess we could just like leave it completely empty, but that's not what we're all about. That's absolutely not what we're all about. We're all about the patient experience, you know? We care. We'll get, you know, we, we like an info TV thingy, um, and we, we we like a Q machine, which is always nice. I love a bit of queuing; it's always so fun. Um, we put down some more benches here, actually. There we go. Uh, no more than that, though. That's probably about about enough. Double glass sliding door. Uh, well, actually, it would be a good idea to build some walls here first. Always a good priority. Um, speaking of walls, let's remove just quickly that wall there and that wall there. Leave the TV hanging it. Oop. Um, and let's get some. What is it that we usually go for? The double sliding doors? Yeah, perfect. Right in the middle there. Beautiful. All right. Well, ladies and gents, we're gonna see how our um, how our hospital turns out with uh, with a couple of brand new department additions. We're going to see you in the next episode. Ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obada Potato. This has been Project Hospital. I'll see you next time. Bye.